So there are 33 children in a class. When they were asked about their favorite subjects, only computer studies and physical education were among their answers. Three children liked both subjects. There were twice as many children who named only computer studies than those who named only physical education. How many children named computer studies as their favorite subject? Okay, so we have a lot of information in these few sentences. We know that there are 33 children in the class. We also know that the only options um, that these children gave for their favorite subject was computer studies and PE. Okay. And out of these, we have three kids that liked both subjects. So three students like both. And the last piece of information we have is there are twice as many children who named only computer studies um, than those who named only physical education. So twice as many students like computer studies than PE. Okay, so let's take this word problem and turn it into a math equation. So I'm going to let computer studies be the variable x. I'm going to let PE be the variable Y. So we know that there's 33 students in the class, um, and everyone said that they have a favorite subject. So we have the uh, number of students that like computer science is X, plus the number of students that like um, PE is Y, plus we have the students that said they um, like both subjects and there are three of them so plus three should give you the total number of students in the class so that's our first equation our second equation we know that there are twice as many students that like computer science well studies than PE so X in order for this equation to be balanced X is equal to 2 Y so X is two times the number of students in computers that like computer studies is twice as many that like PE. So for this to be balanced, we need to put a 2 in front of the PE. So that's our second equation. So from this equation, we can figure out what the value of these variables are. So what I'm going to do, so this is going to be equation 1. And this is equation two. So I'm going to put the value of x, so put equation two into one. So everywhere I see x in equation one, I'm going to substitute. So we have x, which is 2y plus y plus three is equal to thirty three. So we're going to collect like terms. Two y plus y is three y. And we're going to move the thirty the three to the other side, so thirty three minus three. So three y is equal to thirty. So y is equal to thirty all over three. Y is equal to ten. Great. So we solved for y. Now we will put the value of y into this equation, into equation 2. Okay, so x is equal to 2y, which is 10. x is equal to 20. So we have our value of y, 
and our value of x. Um, so remember we said x is the number of students that like um, computer studies. And y is the number of students that like PE. So the question was how many students named computer studies? So the answer is 20. Um, so the answer is C. To verify that you made the right choice, so if you know we have the um, total number of students as 33. So all we have to do is add up the students that like computer studies, PE, the students are like both, and we should get 33. So that is 20 plus 10 plus 3 is equal to 33. So we did a good job.